Hi. So I'd like to discuss solution for this gate problem. Let me directly tell you the solution in just one step. See, given A is a matrix of size M by N, and you look at the dimension of A dagger, I mean, what is the size of A dagger, which is actually A transpose A whole inverse into A transpose. So size of this matrix is N by N, whereas size of this matrix is N by M. So therefore, A dagger is a matrix of size N by M. Now let me look at the options. The question is, which of the following are false? So A into A dagger into A equal to A, they are saying that. So let me see. Let me look at the dimensions first. Like A is a matrix of size M by N, and this is a matrix of size N by M. So finally, this is a matrix of size M by N. So finally, you get a matrix of size M by N. Yeah, A is also matrix of size M by N. This makes sense. But look at option D. Why? Because option A and option D, LHS are equal. So let's see whether it is equal to A or A dagger. So if you look at the dimension of A dagger, this is actually N by M. So this is N by M. But whereas when you calculate this product, you'll get a matrix of size M by N. So therefore, clearly you can say that this is false. So this is false. This is one way. But if you want to see directly, we need to go into the little details. And it is given that A is an M by N matrix. And it is of full rank. They said it is a matrix of full rank. Full rank we mean uh, uh, the rank of A that is exactly the minimum of M comma N. This is this is what we mean by uh, A has a full rank, and we know we know the minimum of these two is n. It is already given in the problem. It is given that m is greater than n. You can see it here. So now, if you take A transpose into A, and we know one more thing: rank of A, which is same as the rank of A transpose into A, and and this will be equal to n. And this is a matrix of size n by n, and its rank is n. So we can talk about it. Talk about its inverse. So this a transpose into a inverse exists. Okay. So now it, they define a dagger, a dagger to be a transpose a whole inverse into a. Sorry, into a transpose. Now let's look at the first first property. Sorry, first option. The first option is a into a dagger a. Let's see what is it. So a into a dagger a, so which is a into a transpose a whole inverse into a transpose this into a. And it can be written as a times of a transpose a whole inverse into, using associative laws, I can write it like this, a transpose into a. Right? So what we have is B inverse into B, which is same as identity. Therefore, this is A into identity. So we end up with A. So the first one is true. A, A dagger A, which is same as A. So this is true. And let's look at the second one. They're saying A into A dagger whole square. And you can write it as A into A dagger into a into a dagger. Now we know, we already know that a, a dagger a is nothing but a, so this is same as a into a dagger. Why? Because this is equal to a. So therefore, a into a dagger is an idempotent matrix. And that's what they are saying in the second, uh, second uh, statement, yes, so this is also true. And the next one, they are saying a dagger into a is identity. Let's see. What is a dagger into a? A dagger into A, which is A transpose A whole inverse into A transpose. That's what A dagger. This multiplied with A. And you have B into B inverse. So this is nothing but identity. So the third one is also true. And you can see that the fourth one is false. Because A, A dagger A is actually equal to A. It's not equal to A dagger. 
and we can see from where this question was uh, taken it has a name this a dagger which is called the generalized inverse generalized inverse of a matrix if you take a square a rectangular matrix of size m by n and we define its uh, um, gen generalized inverse like this if there exists a matrix a dagger such that which satisfies the following properties the first property is a into a dagger into a is equal to a itself and the second condition a dagger into a into a dagger this must be equal to a dagger and third one is a into a dagger is idempotent matrix that is when you square it you'll again get the same thing and four a dagger into a is also idempotent matrix a dagger into a okay so if you if you can find a matrix a daggers which satisfies all these four properties and that is what is called generalized inverse of a matrix or more penrose inverse of a matrix okay so we have this topic in in our matrix algebra course so we'll we'll discuss it, discuss this in course right so that is where this question question was taken right but it it, it is anyway easy to conclude that option d is false just look at the dimension of the matrix it is of size m by n whereas the a dagger is a matrix of size n by m so both are not equal we cannot compare both of them so directly you can say option d is false that's it thank you